Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord one more time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, praise the Lord again. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's get those hands clapping. Come on, let's get those hallelujahs going. Come on, let's get the praise and worship set for the atmosphere today. For good, God is good in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for this day. Hallelujah. Welcome to Divine Direction Christian Center Amen. under the great leadership of our Bishop Anderson yes. and in the absence of our elect lady, yes. elect Prophet yes. Anderson. Yes. Amen. We bless you on today. We thank you that you were able to come out and we just get the house in order at this time. Amen. 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 I'm just looking for a glorious time in the Lord. Aren't you? Amen. Amen. God has something special today for you all in this place. See, God wants to move, and God wants to heal, and God wants to deliver, and God wants to set free, but we have to have the open heart and mind to accept it. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, we're going to go ahead and get our first scripture reading from today. Amen. 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 It's going to be coming from Hebrews chapter 10. And we're going to go from 37 to 39, and then where it picks up in chapter 11, and just the first verse. It says, 37, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Now faith, not tomorrow faith, now faith. Right. Now faith. Right. Because tomorrow's not promised. We got to have that. Now faith Amen. is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord is read and is already blessed. All right. Amen. At this time, we're going to have Sister Moon give us a powerful prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's give him a little horse there, but I'm still gonna let God have his way. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now give God the highest praise. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you on we know how today, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you for keeping us, Lord Jesus. Keeping us doing this week, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you for protecting us, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want you to come in the house today, Lord Jesus. Have your way today, Lord Jesus. Come on down, Lord Jesus. Whatever the people need, Lord Jesus, give it to them, Lord Jesus. Touch in a mighty way, Lord Jesus. Lord, watch your while we late later, Lord Jesus. Cover with your blood, Lord Jesus. Watch you travel up and down the day to the power, Lord Jesus. Call our bishop, Lord Jesus. Give them the word for your people today, Lord Jesus. Lord, use them, Lord Jesus. Pour that knowledge out on Lord Jesus. Lord, we know we ain't for Lord Jesus. Just call our bishop, Lord Jesus. Call our deacon, Lord Jesus. Call our minister, Lord Jesus. Call our elders, Lord Jesus. Call our evangelist, Lord Jesus. The ashes, Lord Jesus. The praise team, Lord Jesus. And our children, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God, my God. The Lord Jesus. But Lord, touch this voice, Lord Jesus. The Lord, this voice, Lord Jesus. Lord, move in the mighty way, Lord Jesus. We ask you to come on down, Lord Jesus. Get into the house of the Lord Jesus. Move in the hospital, Lord Jesus. Move in the nursing home, Lord Jesus. Move in the school, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God, my God. Lord, I know you're able, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Lord, I just thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, give God the highest praise, Lord Jesus. Give God the highest praise, Lord Jesus. Rejoice always. Rejoice. 
Pray without cause season. My God. And everything gives thanks. But this is the will of God and Christ Jesus for you. Amen. Do not quench the spirit. Amen. Do not despise trust. Amen. Set all things. Hold fast what is good. Mm. Abstain from every form of evil. Amen. Thank you this morning. Amen. 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 Now we're about to get our hearts and our minds prepared for the praise and worship. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give God the praise that he is doing. Amen. Amen. Come on, because our God is a great God. Our God is a holy God. Yes, our God is a righteous yes, God. Yes, Come on now. <laughs> How great is our God. Oh, yes. All right. Hey, for he is so great. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I don't know how God's been good to you, but he's been good to me this week. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, it is. How great is our God? 
Give it up for Give it up for Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah. Give it up for the woman of God. We, Hallelujah. We thank God for her. Continue to keep her in, in her prayers. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. She'll be home this afternoon. Yes, Lord. Amen. Continue Amen. to keep Amen. her up. Yes, Lord. She's on a mission. All right. Amen. See, one, one thing about the, your, 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 your late lady is that wherever she is, yes, Lord. God is right there. My Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is right there. Yes, Lord. Huh? And he, he still uses her wherever she goes huh? to speak, to encourage, just to be a light for somebody. We share this thing. So we, we honor him today. We thank God for the deacon and his wife and Amen. minister and his wife and all the evangelists. Thank God for all our young people. Amen. Good to see the young people in the house. Good to see you. Amen. That's a blessing when young people come in the house. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Yes. And God got something for you. Mm. Amen. Because you sold up. Amen. That's right. At the house. Amen. 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 At the house. And, and, and that's awesome how we come into the house, but to give God praise and worship. But have you noticed in the scripture where Jesus said, in my Father's house. house. Are many mansions. They are what? Many mansions. Many mansions. Yeah. So I might be living in a house down here, but, I'm but I got a mansion in glory. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A mansion hmm. in glory. A mansion in glory. So we, we bless the Lord today. I tell you, God is so good. Yes, to us. He is. Amen. And we thank Him for the Word. Amen. Yes, we and do. all that He does. Amen. Amen. Continue to keep DDCC lifted up. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Because the ministry is on the move. Yes, it is. Amen. Yep. Say it again. <laughs> What'd you say? And you better get on the train. You better get on the train. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I think somebody's about to get it. <laughs> yeah. I think somebody got right. their ticket in their hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. They're just waiting on the train. All right. Amen. And I like that. That's what we got to do. Those that have the Bibles, we thank God for those tuning in, whether by Facebook or YouTube. We thank God for you. We pray that something be said that will be a blessing on to you today as we go into a short word of prayer. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, Lord, as we come before your people today, we want to say thank you for this golden opportunity that you, that you have given us. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Lord, we thank you for everyone that we see today and those that we do not see. God, we pray for their strength as well. Now, Lord, we ask that you would lower us down into your word, God, and speak what you would have us to give to your people, Lord. In your son, Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Let us, those that have the Bibles, let us go to Ecclesiastes. And we want to talk from a threefold subject. Because we're going to go a little bit everywhere. Ecclesiastes 6, chapter 3. Then I need someone to take me to Joel, chapter 2, verse 23. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. We'll look at verse 1. And then I need someone for Joel chapter 2. Verse 23. We're going to give you a minute. When you have these, we need you to say, I want you to say amen. I want you to say amen. We ask for more wisdom and knowledge of God's word, which we all need. Yeah. Amen. 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 Right. We all need. All right. The Bible is a book full of instructions. Mm. The Bible is the book that is full of instructions. Mm. The do's and the don'ts. All right. The consequences of doing mm. 
and the consequences of not doing. All right, Bishop. Consequences. Preach, Bishop. But it's the basic instructions for everyone before leaving the earth. All right. The only way you don't leave the earth is that you're not born into the earth. All right. But if you're born here, that means you got to leave here. Mm. Huh? But there's instructions on where you can go when you leave here. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it's up to us to follow the instructions. Amen. Huh? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you want to jot these three down, I'll give you just a couple of seconds. I ain't going to give you a couple of minutes because we're going to move on. First instruction is how to live. There's a whole lot in that package. Yeah. Amen. That's a book right there by itself. Hello, somebody. That's it. That's it. How to live. All right. Number two would be how to give. All right. Mm. Say it again. That's another book by itself. The third one would be how to receive. Mm. Mm. How to live. How to give and how to receive. Amen. Amen. Right. Come on, bitch, preach. Huh? That's a series. We we gonna just get into a little bit of it, but God was giving me so much of that, I'm like, whoo. <laughs> Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one. Got it. You got it, Minister? I got it. Read it. Amen. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose mm -hmm. under the heaven. All right. To what now? To everything there is a season mm -hmm. and a time to every purpose mm -hmm. under the heaven. To everything. Yeah. Not some things. To everything there is a what? A season. A season. Mm -hmm. There's a season for you. My, my. And see, you got to understand when it's your season. Yes, All right, yes, Bishop. Yes, Come yes, on, Bishop. Yes, speak yes. to me. When the instructions are being given oh, in your season, Jesus. you yes. have to learn how to live, how to give, and how to receive. Woo! All right, now. All right, now. Come on, now. See, the writer, the preacher in Ecclesiastes, he said, unto everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. That's a what? <laughs> a season. Mm. So when it's my season, when it's your season, the devil in hell cannot stop what is for you because you're in your season. Oh, yeah. Come on, Bishop. Yeah. It's your season. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Yeah. You're in your season. Huh? Amen. And when blessings flow, you're in your season <laughs> yeah. to receive. Huh? Now, if you've been living according to the word of God, then you ain't got no problem with giving. And then you show sure up, don't have a problem with receiving. Amen. 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 Come on, man. That's right. Because the writer just said to everything there is a season, yeah. Yeah. That's right. a time to every purpose under the heavens. All right. All right. Huh? You, you want to make God laugh? Tell them about your little plan. That's right. Tell them about your little plan. Then he says a time to what? Be born. That's right. All right. And a time to what? Die. That's right. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up. Yeah. Unto that which is what? Planted. Planted. Huh? A time to weep. And a time to laugh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Time to moan. Mm -hmm. And a time to dance. Wow. After you come out of your moaning stage, then you can dance. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. After you come out of some stuff, then you can dance. You can give God a praise then. Because you know that it was nobody but God that brought you out. Yeah. But you got to remember now, you're going through your season. Yes. 
And it always don't feel good because the season says you got to give up this, you got to turn that loose, right. you got to pick this up. And some things we just don't like to turn loose, we don't like to pick up new stuff. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. we don't understand it. All right. All right. But how are you going to receive the blessing that, you, that God truly has for you except you turn some things loose? Amen. Yeah. God said, you want to hold on to an apartment, but God said, I got a house around the corner. All right, then. All right. <laughs> but you, you screaming about an apartment. <laughs> Two-bedroom apartment wasn't bad. God said, I got a three-two waiting on you. All right. Yeah, I'll receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because when it's in your season, you can't just be no I'm going to just renew the lease. But if you've been praying and asking God to bless you with a home, and then God, you've been living in according, you've been giving according, then you receive according. What stops God from saying? Oh, right now. Amen. All right now. All right. All right. All right. Because a lot of people want God to move a certain way, but God moves by season. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he'll put you in a place for a season. Amen. That season is for you to grow. That season is for you to learn. That season is for you to learn how to suffer. Learn how to go through some things. Learn how to not have all the time. That's right. So when your season of, of having comes, mm. you know how to handle it. That's right. That's right. That's right. You'll be appreciative. Mm -hmm. how to do it. Come See, on. if you can't accept the little thing, how you gonna how you gonna swallow the big stuff? All right, all right. All right. Come, on all right. Now. Come on now. But he said that that's a, that's a season. That's why I use three things: how to live, yeah. how to heal. Yeah. And how to receive. See, a lot of folks think they know how to live. You really don't know how to live. All right, all right. You just think you do. Uh, because we have to live according to the word. All right, all right. If God were to do it, we do it. God were to leave it alone, refrain from it, we refrain from it. That's it, that's it. Then when it comes to giving, you give. Out of your heart. That's right. God love a cheerful yeah. giver. Come Not on. to be said what I did. That's right. I would get you in trouble. That's so true. Amen. True giver gives from the heart. That's right. And you think nothing else about it. That's right. Because it's in you. Thank you, Lord. It's automatically in you to just love somebody. Amen. Huh? It's automatically in you to just give. Right. It's automatically in you to go the extra mile, as yeah, they say. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Huh? But see, when, when, when you've done those two things, then guess what? Receive you know what, what comes. That's right. Receive what comes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. When gifts come to your way, receive them. Yes. Huh? Amen. Well, I've been, I've been praying for a financial blessing. It may come to you, but it may not be in a financial blessing form. That's right. All right. That's right. But it still will come to you. Amen. Right. Yes. Receive it. That's it. Huh? Receive it. It could be a pair of shoes. Amen. That's Amen. it. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. Hmm. And then the next time around, God said, okay, I'm going to drop a financial blessing on you so now you can go and buy you some real nice to wear with them shoes. All right. All right. All right. Amen. You got to know how he operates. So when the writer says that to everything that is a purpose, a season, a time, everything blazes on time, time, time. Huh? Look at verse 6. He said, there's a time to get. All right. There's a time to what? Lose. Lose. Mm. Huh? My Lord. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep. My God. And a time to cast what? My away. Away. My, my Lord. When God said, turn it loose, my turn Lord. it loose. That's it. That's it. Huh? Amen. That's it. Because I got something else for you. Mm. <laughs> but I can't give that to you until you turn this loose. All right. All right now. Thank you, Jesus. That's what he's telling us. See, it's, it's a, everything moves by season. We serve a God that is a God of season. Huh? The word says after you have suffered for a little, little while. while. A little while. Just a little while. Yeah. Just, just a little bit there. And we think it feels like eternity, but it's just a, just little, a little bit. While. Then he said, I'm coming to you then. Thank you, Lord. All right. I, I'm going to make some, I'm going to open some doors for you. I'm going to make some ways for you. Thank you, Lord. Uh, That's what he says he's going to do. So in Ecclesiastes, we have to learn how to what? Thank you, Lord. You got to learn how to turn loose. You got to learn how to turn loose. Yeah. 
Yeah. You got to learn how to tell some stuff loose. Mm-hmm. You got to learn how to get rid of some stuff. Mm-hmm. You got to let, let some stuff go. Come on now. If, it is, if it's not prospering you, then why are you holding on to it? Amen. If it's not helping you, then why are you holding on to it? Amen. We have to learn because in our season, in order to be able to receive, it's things and stuff that we have to let go. Amen. 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 It's just certain things you got to let go. It may be down to certain folks. You got to let go. Amen. Amen. Huh? Because they, they, their circle, if it's my season and then I'm hanging here, but it's a pull on me, I need to stay with my season. That's right. Because I don't want to miss what God has for me. Amen. Amen. Not saying it won't come back around, but I don't want to miss the first round. Amen. I don't know about you, but I, I want to get on the first boat. Amen. I, I don't want to jump on the second boat because the second boat may not be as big as the first boat. All right, all right. Amen. Amen. Come, on. Uh, uh, come on now. Come on. So he, he, he tells us and, and right there, there's three things how to live, how to give. And how to receive. All right. So we have to stay inside of that channel. And everything is a seasonal. Amen. Just like we have seasons of weather. Mm-hmm. We have the spring. Mm-hmm. Spring does what it do. Mm-hmm. We have summer. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Can't stand the heat. <laughs> Can't breathe. Mm-hmm. My allergies. <laughs> My life up this morning. But in the process, we complain in the heat. Mm-hmm. As soon as fall comes, oh, it feels good mm-hmm. for a few weeks. Let that first frost yeah. fall. <laughs> you be begging for the heat. It's cold out here. <laughs> you be begging for the heat. So you see how you can easily fall into a category of complaining? Mm-hmm. God set the season in motion. The spring, you have to have the spring in order for new growth. All right. All right. That's it. All right. Come on. If spring doesn't come, then we don't get no new growth. That's right. Flowers don't come out. Right. They don't grow. Right. New growth. Spring is the beginning of new growth. Mm-hmm. Wow. The summer is the beginning of maturity after the new growth. That's right. Because if you can't stand the spring, how are you going to deal with the summer? That's right, that's right. Then when you get to the fall, that's another season that you should be able to stand up. All right. Mm. And walk upright. Mm. Right. Three things. How to live, how to give, mm. and how to receive. Mm-hmm. Ecclesiastes tells us that everything has a what? Time. Season. Mm-hmm. Purpose. Mm-hmm. Everything. So nothing just happens in your life. It's because it's, it's your season. That's right. Amen. It's your time. All right. Amen. Whether it's good, however it comes, it's just That's your true. time to deal with it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes, Lord. Yeah. See, you know, a lot of people got this misconception that when, and I tell people like this all the time and even everywhere I go, stop telling people once they come into the church and get saved, everything's going to be all right. No, it's not. Tell them folks they're going to have some bumps on the road. They're going to have some good days, some bad days. Yeah. But glory be to God, just because you're saved, filled yeah. with the Holy Ghost, you have a keeper, a teacher, a leader, and a guide in your life. So when hell breaks out, you can still go in your prayer closet yeah. and find some peace. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. When you feel like you ain't got no joy, you can go on your knees and begin to talk to God. And joy just overcomes you. There's a problem that you're dealing with. You feel like nobody knows about it. Can't nobody help me with it. Don't nobody understand it. But when you go down on your knees, and talk to God. Because that's your season. That's your season. But when you come out of your season, you're a whole new person. Because you didn't let the season capture you. My Lord. You went through your season. David said it best in Psalms 23. Yeah, you know I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. Mm-hmm. For I would what? Fear no evil. For what? Thou art with me. 
Thy rod and thy staff, they what? They comfort me. So when you're going through in your season, guess what? You got to comfort them. You're not in that season by yourself. Don't expect folks to understand what's going on because they're not really going to understand because it's not their season. Not for them to understand. Come on. But God knows. And all he's saying, just go through. So we're looking at this. That's the time to what? To get to lose, mm -hmm. yes. to give up, mm -hmm. yeah. turn loose, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, take me to Joel chapter 2, okay. and I'm going to wrap it up. After I have lost, mm -hmm. after, after I have turned loose All right. All right. some stuff, mm -hmm. even after I have let some things go, mm -hmm. even when I lost, my car. All right, all right. Been there. Even when I lost my house. All right. Even when I lost my best friend. Mm -hmm. But we serve a God. Yes, God. That after you have went through your season, mm -hmm. huh? Yes. He tells he tells us in Joel mm -hmm. chapter. 2, verse 23. He says, Be glad. Then, ye children of Zion. That's us now. The church. He says, And rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first wood. Right. Right. So right. you went through some stuff. You went through your season, but guess what? Your first month, you coming out. All right. Thank you, Lord. Your first month, you coming out. You went through a season of loss, but he says, now you coming out. You, you finna gain some stuff. Then he tells us in, in verse 24, he said, and the floods, the floors, your floors shall be full of wheat, which means your bone. Okay, now, let me bring it home to you. Your cabinet mm -hmm. ain't going to be empty. <laughs> All right, All right. Then. Be cool. your, your refrigerator ain't going to have nothing but a glass of water in it. Ooh, uh, your deep freezer is going to be full. <laughs> your cabinet is going to have plenty yeah. canned goods. Yeah. Huh? The floor shall be full of wheat and the vast shall overflow with what? Yeah. Wine and oil. So after you went through some season where you didn't hardly have nothing, guess what? You're going to have more than enough. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Open up the cabin. Ain't nothing here but a can of beans. So Cook them. Amen. <laughs> Go to the freezer. Jesus. Can't find a pack of meat to save your life. <laughs> what we going to eat? It's in our season to deal with this. Then he says in verse 25, and I will All right. restore to you the years Amen. that the lost, that the canker worm. Oh, the lost. Right See, when you was going through your season and you lost some stuff, and you thought that was it was in, <laughs> that the ball game was over with, people had counted you out. God has not counted you out. Amen. You, you know, you, you, what, did, what did they do for, for Job? Job went through a season of losses. Mm -hmm. He lost everything. He restored it double for it. Everything. Yeah. And even his friends thought he had messed up just so bad that Job, you done did something really bad because God just done come in and took everything. Come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. But they failed to realize what that God had allowed that to happen. All right. All right. All right. He allowed that season to fall upon Job. Yes. Because he knew Job's integrity. Right. He knew his character. Yes. Does he know you and my character All today? Right. If we fall into a season like that of, of everything we touch is gone. Hallelujah. Can we still say hallelujah? hallelujah? Can we still say, Lord, I praise you? Can we still say, Lord, I thank you? Even though you ain't got nothing no more. That's right, that's right, that's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Speak, Lord. Can you still say, Lord, I thank you? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Can you? I thank you. Thank when you Lord. wake up and go to your refrigerator and open it up and ain't nothing in there. Mm. Uh, can you still say, Lord, I thank you? Thank you, Lord. Uh, you go to your freezer, you look in there, you can't find nothing. 
Can Lord. you still say, Lord, I thank you? Thank you Lord I, reach in your pocket, you can't even pull out a dollar. Can you still say, Lord, I thank you? The songwriter said, trouble don't last always. Uh, uh, trouble don't last always. But how to every dog cloud, the sun going to shine one day. It don't last always. He said, I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I send among you. All these things were the they was just like distractions. Mm. Yes, Lord. They got in the way. Mm. Palmer worm. Mm -hmm. Get on the vine. He eat up everything. He killed yeah. the vine. Yeah. Can't grow nothing else. <laughs> wow. He stopped the fruit from producing. Yeah. Huh? The locusts. Eat up everything. Mm. Huh? They become pestilence. They, the caterpillar. All these little things. But in spite of all of that. Can you steal? God said, I'm going to send an army mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. to rescue you. God said, I know where you're at. Mm -hmm. right. and, 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 and I'm glad that you almost walked through your season, but now I'm going to send somebody to rescue you. Mm -hmm. Thank you Lord. Now, see, if we can't go through nothing down here, how can we be a blessing to others? How can we encourage others except we first go through? You and I are the first partakers yeah. as being Christians. Amen, amen. <laughs> We're the first partakers. Thank you, Jesus. So if we can't stand nothing, how do we think the sun is going to happen? That's right. Huh? They're watching you and I. So they have to see, even though, and, and, and it's, it's, it's quite normal for an unsaved person to say, well, I thought you was a Christian. Why is all this happening to you? It's my season to go through. Never looked at it like that, have you? It's just my season. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Well, you you're a Christian, you're a church man, and you you're a woman of God. Why you why you why is it happening like that? It's my season. Amen. It's my season. Thank you, Lord. God never said every day would be a good day for you. Huh? But he said, after we have suffered. A little while. A little while. He said, I'm going to come to your rescue. Yeah. Pastor Paul said it best. He said, I can do all things yeah, yeah, yeah. through Christ, which strengthens me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Paul had got so caught up in the Lord when, when the Lord allowed him to go and, and visit the third heaven. When Paul came back down to come to himself, he said, it, it's best for me to just get out of here. That's right. Paul said, I don't even want to be around y'all no more. <laughs> I, I don't want to be here on earth no more. Lord, just take me out of here. That's why he was able to pin to be absent from the body is to be what? Present with the Lord. He had made in his mind he was ready to go. That's right. He went somewhere where it was not lawful for a mortal man to go mm -hmm. and come back. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Paul went to the third heaven. Yes, he did. Yeah. Third heaven. Yeah, you, we, we, we've heard of this. He went to the third heaven. So guess what? Because it has been pain that people have thought for years and years and years that that was just a heaven. Right, right. But that's levels. Heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Levels Thank you, Jesus. of heaven. Mm. He didn't get to the top. He just got to the third floor. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> he just made it to the third floor. That's all. That one might be 10 stories. I always just got an opportunity. To visit the third floor. Mm -hmm. That's all. And then he says in 26. Let me wrap it up. Mm -hmm. And ye shall eat in plenty. Mm -hmm. And be satisfied. Mm -hmm. And praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Your God. Hallelujah. That has dealt wondrously. Mm -hmm. woo, yeah. With you. Mm -hmm. And my people shall never be ashamed. Mm -hmm. See anybody can praise God. When <laughs> bills are caught up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. You got a few coins in the bank. All right, all right. You seem to be ahead. Mm -hmm. You come into church, you beat everybody praising. Mm -hmm. All right. Huh? <laughs> but on Monday, yep. let your bank account get hacked. You call the bank nine o'clock Monday morning, what? or they call you. Zero back. Your account been hacked, Miss So and So. We we putting a trace on it, trying to figure out. Mm. Huh? 
Yeah. Your currency is dropped. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. you, you, you go from praise to... <laughs> <laughs> what done happened to my money? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Yeah. 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 They look sick then. <laughs> I had such and such amount in there and now... They saying, I ain't got that no more. Or you go to swipe your car and your car is denied. What's the Decline. I know I got money in the bank. I just put that in. Just put my check in the bank. What's wrong with this car? Can you still give God a praise? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yes, Lord. Can you put your cell phone down and say, Lord, I thank you? Huh? Lord, I thank you. Because I know you got it. Okay. I, see, yes, it, it, it. If that account shut down for some whatever reason you shut it down, then that means the new one's going to hold them up with dough. Hallelujah. That's the way I look at it. Hallelujah. That's the way I perceive it. Yes. it I didn't have enough in there, so God, I'm going to have to increase, but I need to move it over here so I can do that. Yes. I, I need to move it so I can add the increase. Because you like to dibble and dabble in that little bit too much. So I need to redirect that. Come on, somebody. But can you still praise it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you got plenty to eat. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and people are so blessed now. You can go in your refrigerator and pick out what you want. I don't want that. I had that yesterday. Nah. Uh, uh, been there two days, uh -huh. that's going out. Uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. I want that. <laughs> what else up in there? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. I'm a realist. Yeah, you too, right. Facebook. Yeah. I am a realist. I live in a real world. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yes, Lord. Well, you have to be learning to be thankful for whatever you have. That's right. Two days or three. That's right. Come on. Right. You got a pack of bacon and a dozen eggs, you're doing good. That's right. 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 Huh? Yes, huh? You doing good? Huh? Amen. I told the wife the other night, she got me some between. I said, I'm eating me some some spam and eggs. All right, yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Come on. You know you <laughs> yeah. Amen. Because see, you got to learn to provide, and you got to learn how to put back. That's right. Amen. When COVID hit, you couldn't run up in these restaurants and yeah. eat like you wanted to eat. Shelves were empty. So guess what? You started putting back then. That's right. You started stopping up your shelves then. Right. Huh? Yes, sir. Amen. So you have plenty. So Amen. who you think was doing that? Who you think was doing that? God was doing that. He was putting back, giving you plenty back. So he, all you have to do is sit back and eat and give him praise. Yes, yes, yes. He said he has to, to count on a thousand hills belong to him. Yes. We ain't going to go hungry. Right. Nah. But we can't be choice either. Amen. Yeah. I don't eat this. I don't, I don't eat that. Nah, I don't like that. I said, okay. I called the season and told me you won't have nothing. Mm -hmm. The free rate be on. I told you you got to learn how to what? Live, yeah. how to give, yeah. and how to receive. receive. That's right. Right. Three key factors of life. Because once you follow the instructions, the Bible is your basic instructions before leaving earth. If you follow the instructions, you cannot go wrong. That's right. Yeah. We'll not go wrong. You can't go wrong yeah. if you follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. But now if you deviate from the instructions, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. Don't call the pastor. Because you know what you did. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Hello. You know what you did. But you, you can't deviate. And then he said in verse 27, he said, and ye shall know. You shall know that I am it in the midst. See, God got a way of letting you know who's in the midst. That's right. He got a way of letting you know. God will do stuff ain't nobody else do. That's right. Amen. God can do stuff and things that husband can't do. Wife can't do. Sister can't do. Mother can't do. But God. And you got to recognize and understand that when God is in the midst of you, a lot of times God will allow things to happen in your life so that you will know that he's in the midst. Yes, he 
Right. You ever been in a situation where nothing just seemed to go right? Yeah. 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 You have a day where nothing goes right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, folks, it's a typical month. That ain't no typical month. Uh -uh, sure mm. right. That's just a day. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Search yourself. <laughs> but we want to put it on Monday. This is one of them Mondays, typical Monday. You know, and don't nothing go right on Monday. Monday is the beginning of a new week. <laughs> huh? Now, if you serve God on Sunday, guess what? Look at Monday. Look at Monday. Huh? And if you was in a place on Sunday in the house of worship, you don't normally go, but you got blessed. Guess what? Monday is gonna still gonna be Monday, but your adversary. All right, all right, that's Your adversary will try to mess your Monday up. Your Monday is just another day that God has blessed you with. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to learn how to make the day and not let the day make you. Amen. You can't even let folks make you on the job. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. They can't dictate your day. <laughs> they cannot. They, sure they can't can. do it. And you ain't out of order. Mm -hmm. You ain't out of order. You follow order, but you ain't, not, you ain't out of order. That's right. Huh? And I'm, I'm the first one that said, job description don't call for that. Come on now. I didn't read that in the handbook. <laughs> That's right. Just as good as a mean to do it, but I didn't read it. Come on, right come on bitch. So you got to learn how to study the word of God in such a way that when you read on a job, on a handbook, you need to know the handbook. Mm -hmm. People will have you doing something you really ain't supposed to do. That's right. right. Uh -huh. And then when something goes down, guess what? You holding the ball. You right there by your little lonesome self. Right. You, you, them buddies ain't there because they done walked away. Mm. Huh? But see, as being a Christian, remember this. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. That's the truth. That's why every day is a good day. Amen. It don't matter how the job may be going, but every day... Good it's a good, a good day. day. That's right, a good Every day that you're above the ground That's right. is a good day. Amen. Hallelujah. Take that day and make the best of it. Amen. Stop letting the day make you. How's the day going to make you? And let me explain that to you right quick, briefly. When you go back to the Lord's Prayer, and he says, Our Father, when his disciples asked him, Lord, teach us how to pray. He says, Our Father. What? Give us what? Which are in heaven. Which are in heaven. Give us what? This day. That will be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Come on, y'all want to know what? Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth. And this in heaven. And he said, right there. Say it again. Right there. That part right there. Give us this day. So when he gives you the day, why are you letting the day make you? That don't make sense, does it? When who gave you today? Our Father gave us today. So when we roll out of bed, whether it's Monday, Friday, or whatever, when we roll out of bed, that's your day. That's your day. It, it ain't nobody else's day. That's your day. That, that's, that's your personal day. Let me, let me break it down like that. That's your day. That's your day. That's my day. You roll out of bed on Wednesday morning. That's your day. Mm -hmm. And you determine how that day goes. Go. That's it. Amen. Mm -mm. That's the truth. Yeah. And I tell people like this, especially when you don't serve God on that Sunday, you've just been mm -hmm. in a mellow stage, a meditative state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look for the adversary because he comes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look for the devil to show up. Through somebody because he has to come. Because you don't got revelation of God's word, you worship God, you praise God, you're feeling good, you meditating, your mind is on just doing what you're supposed to do at the, on the job, and everything is going good, and here comes Satan. Amen. Got to interfere right there. That, that, she having too much fun. You know, doing the work, but you still got too much fun going on. So, hey, I, I got to throw a curveball in there. So to, to distract what you're doing because I don't like that. That's right. You're having too much fun. Amen. Huh? Amen. You, put your, you put your gospel on. Yep. You start meditating. Mm -hmm. Put your favorite song on. Thank you, Lord. you start mellowing out. Mm -hmm. You put your earbuds in. Mm -hmm. and everything you're just doing, you're still doing the work or whatever. I, I, you supposed to do this right now. I, 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 I. Okay. 
<laughs> Recognize who that is. <laughs> Your adversary. <laughs> Yeah. But we call you twice. That's your adversary. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when they come, they ain't got they ain't really got nothing on you. They just come looking for something. Mm -hmm. and they, they ain't really got nothing because you ain't really did nothing, but they looking yeah. for something. Yeah. Huh? Just like Satan was looking when he when he saw Job that day. And God asked him, said, Where are you going? He said, Walking to and fro, up and right. down the earth. All right. I'm looking for somebody. That's right. Right. I'm looking for somebody that I can take over. I'm looking for somebody that I can devour. Right. And God asked him, say, have you considered my servant Job? Job? Come on now. In other words, have you been looking at Job? Upright and perfect, man. Go on. Yeah, I looked at him. Yeah. I seen him, but I also seen what you got around him. Yeah. So I can't touch him. Come on now, the hedge. See, you got an invisible hedge around you. My Lord. The enemy really can't touch you physically. So he tries to work with you mentally. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's the only place he can try to operate. Right. He can't physically put his hands on you. All right. All right. So he comes at you from the mind state. All right. All right. Sure right. With a mental thing. He starts to work with your mind. Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. And the more he starts to work with your mind, the more you begin to listen. But we got to realize that and know that God is in the midst of us. He was in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and no one, none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. We have nothing to ever be ashamed about. That's right. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. You will not make me take down. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Will not. Come too far. Come too far to something right now. Yes, yes. Been through too much. Yes. yes. You say, I quit. Mm -hmm. Been through too much to say, Yes, God. It's over with. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It ain't over with. It's not over with. Huh? It's not over with. We still living in the midst of God. We're still living in the midst of him. His presence is constantly around us. Because now we can look back and say, just like the children of Israel did, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? Or what would become of me if it had not been for the Lord? Huh? Who's on my side? So when God moves in our lives, give him the praise. Yes. Be thankful. Yes. And don't be afraid to let other people know. Yeah, God did. Yes. Keep God in the, in the forefront, yes. not in the middle, not in the back. Keep God in the front you, of your life. In the front. And I was looking at this morning how the story with the rich man and Lazarus. How Lazarus sit at the gate of the rich man. And all he asked for was a crumb from the table. Rich man eating lavish thing. Drinking the best of wine, eating the best of meat. But here's the beggar. All he asked for was a crumb. Lazarus died. Yep. And the angels came and picked Lazarus up. Right. Took him on. Mm -hmm. Put him in the bosom of, of Abraham. That's it. Amen. He's comfortable. Well, rest He's not hungry no more. My God. Thank you, Lord. He's not begging Thank no more. Lord. The rich man dies. Mm. He goes to hell. When he gets there, he opens his eyes and he sees that there's a gulf of fire. There's a tormenting stage going on. The Bible says he has five brothers left. And he said, 
Before that, he asked Cousin Lazarus to dip his finger mm -hmm. in a cup of water. Yeah. And just put a drop on his tongue. That's it. That's just how hard it was. Mm -hmm. To cool his body. Mm -hmm. Then he says, send him back. So, to tell my five brothers yeah, not to come here. That's right. This is a bad place. That's right, that's right. You don't want to come here. Mm. The scripture says that God's will, they had Moses. Yep. They didn't hear him. Wow. They had the prophets. My God. They didn't want to listen to them. Mm. So the rich man said, okay. Send somebody that's been raised from the dead from down here back. Amen. Tell you something to make a deal. Mm. God said, well, they didn't hear Moses. They didn't hear the prophets. Wow. They not going to hear someone if I send them back from the dead. My God. What are you saying? Some people just not going to hear anyway. Hard heart. Come on now. Amen. Come on now. Some people just not gonna hear anyway. Come on, Bishop. It don't matter how much you preach, Come how on, much Bishop. you teach, how much you witness, Come on, how much you show it to them. My, my, my. Some people just not gonna hear mm. anyway. Yeah. Cause see, the five brothers was on the same path. My, my. They was headed to the same place, but he was trying to warn them. Jesus. But it was too late. When you come into the knowledge, don't let the boat. Pass your back. My God. Amen. When you come into the knowledge mm. that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. Don't let it be too late. If I were you today, mm. I make up my mind. Yes. Tomorrow is not promised. That's right. Why do you still have a chance? Get it right. Accept the Lord. Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Yes. Amen. 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 Those that may be listening by YouTube or Facebook, accept the Lord as your personal Savior. Because tomorrow is not promised to you. We're here today, we're gone tomorrow. That's it. We're nothing, we're nothing more, the Bible hey, speaks friend, about it. we're nothing more than a bubble right. on the water. You ever pour up a glass of water you got bubbles on it? What do you do? Pop. Wow. You vanish. You gone. Right. Just like that. You're out of here. Burn You're out of here. So, we looked at it a little bit, like I said, I couldn't go through all this today and how to live. We're going to come back and we're going to break that all down. All right, man. How to live. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People need to know how to live. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Not just existing. Mm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes. That's a difference between living and just existing. All right. Yes. That's so true. That's a lot of people just existing. Mm -hmm. Then that's a difference between living. You want to live. You don't want to just exist. That's just like, let me say it like this. I have been there before in a financial stage where you live from paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. yep. Been there. First one. Mm -hmm. I'll admit that, yeah. 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 If, I ain't, if I ain't careful and manage right, I'll I be there again. Mm. If I don't become a, a good steward, I'll be there again. Wow, wow. That's part of learning how to live. Yeah, man. Amen. Just a little bit of it. That's part of learning how to live. Because the word said that we ought to be what? Good stewards over whatever God has blessed us with. That's a part of learning how to live. So y'all just begin. That's a book by itself. <laughs> learning how to live. Because Jesus said, He came that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. Existing is not life. That's right. I don't believe so. I just really don't believe that. If I'm just functioning. <laughs> Say it again, sis. That ain't good. That ain't good. 
I'm not living either. I'm just, I'm just existing. You know, I'm just there. Yeah, I'm just there. I'm, I'm not really enjoying the fruits, the things that God said I could have, the things that He said I could enjoy, because I'm just existing. Let me touch on this a little bit. Once we get to how to give. It doesn't always mean money. What about your service? Your time. That's right. Your faithfulness. Your dedication. See, when people say give, the first thing people think about is money. It ain't about a monetary gift. See, God sent his only son into the world. Amen. To give all that he had. My, my, my. And that was his life. Uh -huh. Now we might have a right to what? The tree, tree of life. Amen. And we sit up and sometimes don't want to give nothing. Amen. We don't want to give our time. That's right. Huh? We spend 40 plus hours right. on the job. Right. On man's job. Right. 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 You come to the house of God, you get you an hour too long. That, my, my, my. What time service starts? We need to be out of here. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you make the money for the man, but what have you done for God? What have you done for God? I believe I go out to the house of God today and I believe I just walk around and see if any paper needs to be picked up or anything needs to be done. Go out there and check on the house. That's your time. You're not doing it unto the pastor. You're doing it unto God. Amen. That's the key right there. You're doing it unto God. Amen. You're doing it unto God. And then He will reward you openly. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Trying to teach you how to get blessed and stay blessed. Not just get blessed. But how to stay blessed. That's right. Amen. How to keep the channel of blessings open. And keep them flowing in your life. Yes, Lord. My God, my God. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, we all. But we're going to work on this thing next couple of Sundays. Yes, all right. Amen. Because people need to know when you think you're living, it's existing. Dang you, Pastor. Dang you. You're just existing. Wow. You're just a soul that's existing. Wow. You're walking, talking, breathing. Amen. Huh? The Nehemiah said it best. He said, The joy of the Lord is my strength. Huh? Yeah. Even Paul said, even when I'm weak, I'm still going to say I'm strong. That's right, that's right. Even when I'm going through, I'm still going to say I'm all right. All right, Bishop. God got me. Yes, he does. Just keep me in your prayers. Yes. Because he got me. Yes. He got me. Yes. He got me. That's why I don't believe in pity for Amen. Tell you all the time, don't invite me. If you want to have one, that's you. That's right. I don't, I don't come to pity for No. How to give. And I can say this as a witness. When you give God the time, your faithfulness, your dedication, He gonna reward you. Oh, yeah. He gonna reward you. Because you're working for your own soul salvation. And Paul said it best. He said, work out your own soul salvation with fear, fear and trembling. That's right. I'm scared to do anything that's out of the way. I, I got I to gotta stay in the will of God. I don't want my flow of blessing to be cut off. I got to stay in that flow. Faithfulness. Yeah. That's all. Simple instructions. Faithfulness. How to live, how to give. And then the third one is 
and how to receive. Yeah. How to receive. Because stuff will be coming so fast at you, you won't like, oh, who is this coming from? What is this? Why, why, why that? God said, receive. Because you learn how to live, and then you learn how to give. That's right. So God said, now, yours is coming. No good thing that he will withhold from us. No. That's right. You don't need no you don't need no, no money line to get blessed. No, you don't. Follow the instructions. That's right. Follow the instructions. That's right. Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. Malachi said the best. He asked the question, will man rob God? Yeah. Rob God. <laughs> they said, How have we robbed you? <laughs> How do we do that? <laughs> how, do we, how do we rob you, God? Mm -hmm. The tithes and offering. You rob me. You rob me. But yet still, your hand was out to receive. Wow. But the other hand was robbing me. Mm. Can't do it like that. That's not the way you operate. So. Jesus himself said, more blessed to give than it is to receive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I love a cheerful giver. Yeah. 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 When the word was given in the house two weeks ago by the prophet, she gave the word. Bring the best off. God said, God said, now she didn't say, she said, God said, bring the best, best off. Right. And touch the basket and say, I believe. I believe. I believe. And I want to say, I started getting phone calls. <laughs> Bishop, guess what? Bishop, I said, because you followed the instructions. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You followed the instructions. Yeah. My cash app card went on. Ding, 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 ding. Follow the instructions. That's right. Yeah. When we follow the instructions.